Hey guys and gals, let's build a five-piece contemporary-style bedroom set that is scaled for minifigures for today's LEGO Brick Tutorial. Let's begin with our nightstand. Start with a 2x3x2 two three two cupboard. We're going to flip this over. And on the corners, four studs. Now, since the cupboard is reddish-brown, we're going to have to be extra careful. Stick these right on the corners. This is going to be little legs for our nightstand. Next, we're going to place a set of medium nougat drawers. And on the top, a 1x2 flat tile, a 1x2 jumper plate, and a 1x2 flat tile. Now for our little lamp, let's take a round brick, set that there, and a transparent yellow stud for a little light bulb, and a 2x2 two two dome with stud. Makes a great lampshade. Let's make two of these. For a chest of drawers, take a set of 2x3x2 two by by two cupboards. We're going to place these on top of one another. Now we're going to need to be extra careful with these because this is reddish brown, and we're going to slowly push those together. Now on the bottom, we're going to set four studs, one in each corner. And I hear the creaky creaky of the reddish brown. That's uh, not really good. <laughs> Hopefully these will survive this tutorial. And on the top of the container, a 2x3 flat tile. I want to make sure that this is really locked into the top portion. That's why I left the drawers out. Now we can safely put our drawers in. So we're going to need four medium nougat drawers. Slide those in place. For our dresser with mirror, let's take a 1x6 plate. I'm going to take a 2x3x2 two by by two cupboard. I'm going to place it on the 1x6 plate like so. On the right hand side, let's set down a 2x3x2 two by by two cupboard and another 2x3x2 two by by two cupboard on the left hand side. Now we're going to flip this over and set down five studs. Now sadly LEGO doesn't make a 1x7 plate, so we're going to have to use a 1x6. <laughs> we're going to place four studs in the corners. Now sometimes these things can be a bit of a chore to get on. So you may have to muscle that in there and creaky creaky of reddish brown. Let's get this one right over here. And I'm going to place one right in the center of this cupboard here. Okay, now we're going to flip that back over. In the center, a 1x2 flat tile. And I'm going to set down a pair of 1x3 jumper plates on both sides of the 1x2 flat tile and a set of 1x3 flat tiles right below the jumper plates. And on both sides, a set of 1x2 jumper plates. To complete the top, let's populate our dresser with some drawers. So I'm going to take six medium nougat drawers. We're going to set these right inside. all the holes up. If you want, you can make the middle cupboard a door if you wish. For a mirror, take a 1x4x3 wall element. If you choose, you can put a sticker in there, or you can leave it plain. Set that right in the center. For the sides of our mirror, let's take a 1x1 brick, set a 1x1 round brick right on top, followed by a 1x1 brick. Let's make two columns, and I'm going to place these on both sides of our mirror. Originally this was reddish brown but that piece sadly had disintegrated <laughs> so we're using white. And let's crown off the top of our mirror with a 1x6 flat tile. These two jumper plates are left open for accessories so I'm going to place a little potted flower on the left hand side. So we're going to take a transparent blue 1x1 round 
plate was whole, set that right in there, and a little stem piece. And then we're going to take some of these friends flowers. We're going to place these on each of the limbs. And yes, that is reddish brown. We're going to have to be careful. So these can be a bit of a chore to put on, but there you go. <laughs> put the last one right here to complete the dresser with mirror. For our king size bed, start with a 6x8 plate. In the bottom portion, I'm going to place a pair of 2x4 plates where there's a one stud reveal on the bottom. Next, a 1x6 plate, followed by a 1x4 plate. Let's flip our assembly over. We're going to take a pair of 1x8 plates. We're going to place them on both ends of our 6x8 plate. Now be extra careful. This is reddish brown. And let's fill in these four areas with four 1x1 one one plates. And yes, I've had a few of these break when I was doing the prototype of this build. <laughs> And let's sandwich all this together with a pair of 1x8 plates. Oh, I hear it creaking. That's got me worried. <laughs> let's take a set of 1x4 by 1 and 1 thirds brick with bow. We're going to place these on both sides. This is going to give our comforter nice contour along the edges and two on the other side of our 1x6 plate. Now let's take a 1 by one by one and one thirds brick width bow. We're going to place a 1 by one plate on the bottom. I'm going to make two of these. I'm going to set these in these two areas. This is going to give the illusion of our bedspread being folded over. Then in this area a pair of one by three jumper plates. Then I'm going to proceed on with a one by four plate. And in this area, several tiles. Now you could choose any color you wish for your comforter design. I'm just going to use some dark tan and dark green for a pattern. Well, at least with dark green, we're safe. <laughs> so I can get a little aggressive with this one here. Now I could have speed build through this, but if something were to break, well, I don't want to censor that out. So we're going to stick these right in here. And for pillows, a set of one by two by two thirds slopes. And in this area, a one by six flat tile to complete the folded over comforter. For our headboard, we're going to take three one by two palisade bricks. We're going to place these right behind the pillows and on both sides, some one by one bricks. Set those down right in there and a one by eight plate in this area. Yes, we're gonna have to be really careful with that color right there. And finally, let's use 16 one by one by two thirds plate with bow. This is gonna round off the top of our headboard and footboard now, I could speed build through this, but I want to be sure that nothing turns into powder. <laughs> and basically, what this is going to do is give us the illusion of a, like a sleigh style bed. Now, you don't have to use 
medium nougat or reddish brown for this. You can make it any color you wish. Let's place the last four here. Looks like we may have survived reddish brown. Well, almost. We got a few more parts to put on this bed. And you guessed it, a set of legs. So we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna set down four studs in each of the corners. This is where things can get a bit dicey because you can easily blow out the corners of this reddish brown plates and bricks with just studs. It's like this one, I'm starting to fight, so I don't know. Just kind of slowly press that down in there. And I think the reddish brown has survived. And we have a nice king size bed.